For James McGrath, it's a big day from Touring County Westmeath. He's been in the national panel since 1998, but this is his very first senior Leinster title. The game is on. The Leinster final of 2012 with Galway winning the toss. There is no win. There is a slight miss, as I said, but uh, they're going to try and score down as much as possible down at that canal end. There's Kilkenny getting down a stride earlier. Killian Buckley trying to lay it off under a little bit of pressure from David Collins, returning from injury. Gathering it here is Paddy Hogan, dispossessed, however, by Conor Cooney. Scored two cracking goals in the semi-final, dropping in. David Herity is under a bit of pressure, and the referee's whistle is blown, and he's given a free out to David Herity. But a slippery ball right under the crossbar, but the goalkeeper did really well. Well, he did well, and, uh, you know, David Buck came in on top of him there, Marty, and uh, he held the ball out, but pushing on the keeper and, uh, you know, justified the free out, but uh, danger there for Kilkenny and Galway have uh, started opening uh, impressively enough, uh, good tackling and uh, they're attacking Kilkenny a little bit. Batted down by Andy Smith, Tommy Walsh coming forward, under pressure, gathering it here is uh, Niall Bark, under 21 star of last year, and what about that for a start? Wonderful strike, really good score for the tribesmen. They're up and running. Yeah, and a little uncharacteristic error there by um, you know Tommy Walsh. Lost the ball, won it uh, from the puck out. Lost it, and Niall Burke with a great score from out of field. And that, uh, every chance they get, if they can knock it over the bar, that will give them a little bit of confidence and they'll uh, settle them down a little bit. Puck out by David Herity. So Kenny going forward. Ball comes free for his ear, Tanya. Schlitter on the hurl. Takes it forward. Finish will be a disappointment. It's crucial from a Galway perspective when you're playing an awesome, intimidating team like Kilkenny, who've been so good and so impressive. And indeed, uh, I'm sure everybody are fans of what Kilkenny have achieved over the last number of years. But when you're playing a really good team like this, you cannot concede goals too early. No, Marty, and uh, we sat here in the past, uh, you know, a ball like that from the Italian with a talent like Joe, you know, with Joe talent, um, Inside, surely the, the, the thing is to feed him as early as you can into Joe Cannon. And it is down for Joe Cannon! What a start! What a goal! Long ball from Irla Tanya down to Big Joe. Joe Cannon from Port Dumna. Deep ball, great hands by Cannon. Unstoppable. A brilliant start by the tribesmen. Look at it from every angle, any angle, and pick it out of the back of the Kilkenny net. Yeah, and Joe, um, Marty, it is um, interesting to see that Jackie Turtle has moved into full back, as he did, we say, on Lark Corbett in last year's final, and Noel Hickey's in the left corner. So that will be a plus for uh, for Joe Canning if they can feed him enough ball right. Uh, Jackie Turtle is more at home in the corner, so that will give um, Valway a fierce boost. Andy Smith trying to get away from Owen Lark and half blocked. Ball into space. Two years ago, when these teams met in the Leinster final. A lot of criticism on Joe Canning. He only scored two points, one from a free in that final, and of course, very much the scoring potential built around this new team that uh, Anthony Cunningham is composing is around this man, Joe Canning, scoring a cracking goal at the very start of the game, within the first two and a half minutes of this Leinster final. It's the start that Galway could only wish for. Canning laying it off. Farris Nile Bark on the turn. And it's all Galway in Croke Park. It's his second point of the match. Yeah, great score there by Nile Buck. But what was interesting about that, uh, Marty, is Galway are moving the ball short. They're, they're committing then to Kilkenny players to come in on one and ones and they're moving the ball. And that's an excellent point again for Nile Buck, his second of the game. David Collins has also moved out to right half back. And, uh, you know, Fergal Moore's across in the right corner. So a couple of switches we'll get to them later on. Galway have done to Kilkenny what Kilkenny like to do to their opponents. And at the moment, Galway are rocking and rolling here at Grove Park, and it's Joe Cannon moving out from the full forward line, stepping by Brian Hogan, giving it inside to Burke. That central axis of Burke and Canning causing problems in the early stages for Kilkenny. And the Cats, their cage may be rattled, but I'm sure they'll settle very quickly. Sideline ball favours Galway. Brian Gavin, the linesman, indicating it's a quick ball that's going to be taken by early Italian, but he's been told to calm it down. Take his time.
Our Graham man won two Fitzgibbons in his younger days with uh, LIT. As that ball is dropped in. Ball is dropped. Slippery ball, but that missed. Just falling around 2 o'clock in the afternoon here in Dublin. Ball breaks free. Over for is Damien Hayes. Just misjudged the shot. And it is Galway's second wide of the game. Well, you can see there, um, you know, good tackling from Galway. And James McGrath is the type of referee that lets this go. And, um, you know, Galway tackle well. Ball out to Damien Hayes. I think he should have nearly, you know, tried to take on the man there, like on a one and one um, But unfortunately, he struck away. Here we see, like, good tackling. Ball lost there. And uh, once it came to Damien Hayes, possibly he should have taken on the man. Puck out from David Herity. Comes down again from Earl Italian, who's getting on an amount of ball in the middle of the field. Many people in Galway feel he's better around that central field area because it gives them a lot of space. Ball blocked down. Connor Cooney scored two cracking goals in the semi final against Offaly. Back there is Tommy Walsh. Second time he's hooked. Walsh hits, pushed by the corner forward from Galway. Cooney fouls, free for Walsh. Yeah, a little shake of his head there, yeah, but he gave it a little, slight little tug and uh, Tommy made the best of it there, Marty. I think, you know, he knew when to go down. Ball was lost and uh, gets a relieving free from the corner. But you'd have to be impressed by um, Galway's uh, work rate from at the very beginning, and if they can keep this up, it will certainly, um, you know, uh, challenge Kilkenny's dominance. The dressing room beforehand, Galway were very calm, very focused. The word that was being used around the dressing room was intensity and passion. And, uh, certainly they have uh, brought it to the table. They've brought it to the pitch after six and a half minutes, leading by five points. Johnny Cole. Lock Raymer. Corner back into 2009 minor All Ireland winning team. Tommy Walsh floats it in. David Collins back it. They don't lock it. Coming forward is Tony O'Gregan. Misses it the first time through to the hook. On the floor is Colin Fennelly. Referee's whistle is blown. He's going to give a throw ball. Fennelly slowly getting to his feet. But you have to say, Donald, from a Galway perspective, they've started well, haven't they? Well, they've started very well, Marty, and they have a good pace to their tackling and to their forward play. And um, they've made a few switches, as I said, Johnny Cohn's gone back in the corner, Fergal Moore's in the right corner, and um, David Collins is, is out the win. There's a bit of afters going on here, and uh, some of the Kilkenny players didn't like that Earl Tanyan seemed to get entangled with Connell Fennelly. As he was hitting the ball, we might be able to see it again in a moment, but uh, certainly the Kilkenny players reacted as Fennelly was still getting some attention, some medical attention. Yeah, well, there was a little bit of argy bargy before the throw in as well, not much because James O'Gara threw the ball in. Um, but you're going to expect that, Marty. Um, Galway are well up for this game, and um, I suppose their attitude is we're not going to let anything go and we're going to, you know, front up and face up to Kilkenny and see how good they are. Tanyan again gets a touch, far as Tony O'Gregan. Sprays it over towards Joe Cannon. Jackie Tyrrell just got a slight little touch to it just to put him off a little bit. And Tyrrell drives it down in front of the Hogan stand. Galway, first to the ball. This occasion, Fergal Moore just loses possession. Picked up by Richie Hogan. Trying to get away. Look at where Joe Cannon is. Dispossessing Richie Hogan. And Galway counter attack. Down towards Connor Cooney. Nice stick work. Showed a little bit too much to the three times all star. Noel Hickey from Dunamaga. Long ball down towards Andy Smith. Comes away with it, however, is Johnny Cohn. Gives it plenty of air. Underneath it again is Cooney. Hickey just beaten to it on this occasion. Nice pick up indeed by Richie Doyle. Chased by Niall Buck. Doyle hand passes it. Well gathered on this occasion by Killian Buckley to Fenley. In comes Tangan with a hefty challenge. And again. And they have. Continued their little argy bargy to use Donald O'Grady's word that uh, started a while ago. The referee's whistle was blown. It's a free for Kilkenny. Yeah, and the free there was nothing wrong with the tackle, but you saw the little tug on the short there, and the referees are getting very, um, you know, sharp on that. Any little tug on the short or the shorts, and um, they'll give a free immediately. But um, that's the one thing that Galway can't afford to do. I mean, they're five points up, but they've handed a silly free now to, um, to Henry Shefflin, and he could well open his account. Almost 10 minutes gone in this first half. First scoring opportunity for Kilkenny wasted by Shefflin. And look at the way the Galway players are reacting. 
Talk about intensity, talk about self-belief and indeed passion. Galway have it all in abundance so far. It's early days. Good hands by Tony Oak Regan. Yeah, but the important thing there, there Marty, was that he took the steps out and uh, that gives him good balance and gives him a bit of you know force going forward and uh, picked up a handy free. It's not often we see on our television screens 10 minutes gone. Kilkenny, no score. Galway, 1-2. Damien Hayes thought about going left, went right instead along the sideline. Gathering here is Cyril Donnelly. Nicely hooked. Back there is the Kilkenny captain, O'Larkin. Goes forward first, TJ Reid. Scored a cracking goal against Dublin. Ball run, rebounds first, David Buck. The hand passes to Paul one. Hickey gets to it first. It comes first, Hayes. Right in front of the Hogan is dropping in, and it's an easy ball for David Herity. Goalkeeper. He may have been well defended and protected over the last number of seasons, David Herity, and indeed PJ Ryan before him. But uh, you sense that goal we're going to test this Kilkenny defence today. David Collins might be playing at right half back, but he goes back into a corner back position. Nice stick work by Tony O'Gregan. Sends it down the sideline. Oops. David Hayes, Damien Hayes, we knew what he was trying to do, the quick ball, but it seemed to just swirl onto the hurley and out over the sideline. Yeah, well, it's a little bit greasy down there, Marty, and that's a very um, difficult skill to, um, you know, when, when, when the ball is flying at pace as it was, just to knock it back straight away. He might even better off just to try and get his own possession and then run. But Galway, Damien Hayes is playing roving out, Joe Canning is roving all the time, so they're really asking questions at the Kilkenny defence. Poor sideline ball from Paddy Hogan. Sent down by Earl Tanya in the centre. It's Brian Hogan. Powerful centre half back. Andy Smith running forward and pulled down is Niall Donahoe. Donahoe is playing at right half back. At least he should be, but he's gone into the corner. Here's a young man that uh, is a natural full back and in time probably will wear the number three jersey for his county. That's where he won an under 21 All Ireland medal. Ball is sent in towards Joe Canning. Lovely little touch, lovely little flick up and taken out of it by Jackie Terrell. And that is a free in for Galway. This is going to be a different day, one senses, for Joe Canning. Look at the stick work here, tried to flick it up high. Terrell came in with the frontal challenge. Yeah, Marty, and he's moving uh, across each position in the full forward line, and he was being picked up that time by Paul Murphy. Um, I think Kenny will have to decide that they're going to man-mark him, possibly, but um, if, if it's the case that Jackie Turtle is on him or Paul Murphy is, is on him, then I think Joe will be better off standing at the edge of the square because they don't have the experience of playing full-back position. Gives you an idea of the angle and, indeed, the concentration. Sizing up his prospects, Joe Cannon. 20 metre line, it's over the bar. 13 minutes gone, in the first half, it's Galway 1-3. Leinster and All-Ireland champions Kilkenny yet to score. Somebody has rewritten the script. We weren't quite expecting this from Galway. Puck out from David Herity, can they maintain it? Can Kilkenny respond? Knocked down by Fergal Moore, Damien Haynes, laying it off as Andy Smith, the Portunda combination, running forward, coming into challenges, Hogan, taken down, and it's interesting what Andy Smith decided to do, to tear into a different gear, up it and run at the Kilkenny defence, and this was Hogan's response. Yeah, and Marty, when you look at that again, I mean, James uh, McGrath, the referee, has been very lenient, I think, with Brian Hogan. Uh, he's just merely spoken to him there, uh, no tick, that normally turns up as a yellow card. Oh, I think he's giving him a little tick now, but um, just explaining that's not on him, but normally that's a straight yellow card, and by running straight at the at defenders, it's very difficult for any defence to cope with that. Canning once more. It's an easy one. For a man with a range of skills that we've uh, grown to admire over the last uh, number of seasons since he made such an impact as a minor and under 21 star. Yeah, Marty, um, you know, there's been Kilkenny's had six puck outs, they won the first one and subsequently lost it, and they've lost each and every one of them since then, so it's, it's giving Galway a platform and a half back line to build their attacks. TJ Reid and Tony O'Gregan. Regan comes out with the ball, slither in hand, lays it off quickly. Nipping in, however, is Richie Hogan. Challenged by the opposite number 15 in their own half of the field goal. That was Damien Hayes. And the referee 
felt that Damien Hayes was being fouled and he's giving a free to Galway. Hogan protests, he says, what, me? And there's an extra 13 metres. <laughs> Moi, but 